Hi everybody, thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to the home of all things FIFA career mode. Now I regularly get asked on social media how I grow my players so high and so fast. Now there is not one simple answer, it's a combination of these few tips. So tip number one is to check the player that you want to grow to see if he would get an overall upgrade by changing his position. And once you have your overall upgrade from your positional change, if you prefer the player in his original position, simply revert him back. So now you've checked for an overall upgrade, it's time to upgrade the potential. And there are two ways of doing this, simply some players will get a potential upgrade simply by transferring to your club, or alternatively you could use the potential loan glitch, which involves putting a young player out on loan, recalling that player and then hoping for either a value increase or a potential upgrade. In my opinion the most important aspect in player growth is making sure you keep an eye on your players development plans. So I suggest regularly going into your squad hub, checking the player development and looking out for any ticks. All that means is that players particular development plan has come to its conclusion. So at that point change that players development plan and that tick will disappear. Now I was happy group training was introduced back in FIFA 21, but quite honestly, it's a disappointment. Because all group training does is improve sharpness, which affects form, which affects development plan performance. So what I suggest is to set up two team sheets. And then use the group training sessions to improve the sharpness for your subs and reserves. Your starting 11 sharpness will improve far better and more consistently by playing consecutive matches. Now to maximise the effects of dynamic potential, you need to keep a very close eye on your player's indicators, those being morale, player and team performance, playtime and contract. And for your young player's potential to upgrade at the end of the season, you need at least 4 out of 5 of those to be in the green. Definitely don't sim too far ahead using the calendar, the reason being the assistant manager will pick the team, meaning the player you want to grow might not even be in the starting 11. However, when using sim match or quick sim, it will be your chosen starting 11. Now the final tip is a bit boring and it is to be patient. It is a marathon and not a sprint and to get good player growth can be quite a long process. As we can see, I've got a couple of career modes that are work in progress in Season 3, one in Season 6, and Makoko at 99 is the second to the last season in FIFA 22 career mode. So by combining these very simple player growth tips, you should see some excellent results. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to tune in next time. But until then, it's FCG out.